Hey guys, it is Fairy Grace. And remember what I said, what you think about, what you focus on, your dominant thought. Psychologists and scientists say that is the direction that your life is going. Well, if we would rewind today back, I would feel like my life was going in the gutter because I had a Hades of a day. I had a day where I was in a room and I felt like I was the only person that had sense of reason. The only person that had justice and truth and realness. And I felt like I was being attacked by my character and by my words and that these people were deciding the fate of my life. Sounds drastic, but let's keep it at what it was. And then I was reminded by something. Can I get Christian on you for a moment? I don't do that too often, but can I get Christian on you? I, I spoke to the Lord on the way home as I had just finished crying for an hour and my hair was crazy. I looked like Rapunzel's mother because my hair came down. Anyhow, some of you get that. And it was like the Lord put in my heart, two people don't decide your fate and your destiny. Trust me. And then I remembered, I need to focus on what is true. I can focus on what people said about me, what people just did, what people are saying they're going to do. I can focus on that. And I guarantee you, it'll turn me bitter. It'll turn me angry. It will, it will turn me cynical. I will not be the person I know that inside I am. And I had to just let it go and focus on what was right. Focus on what is true. Focus on what I can control. So here's my Christian story. I had a friend, a dear person that was in my life, Bradford. We went to church together. He had struggled for years and years and years of addiction. And he came back into my life again. And I invited him to church. And he came. And he looked at me. It was actually communion Sunday. And he's like, I haven't been here in two years. And I just pat him on the back and I said, welcome back. It's great to have you. And he gave his infamous chuckle and laugh that was contagious. And then when we left, because we had been going for a few weeks now, when we were leaving, he ran into the pastor. And he ran up to the pastor. And he says, hey, man, he shook his hand. I'm Bradford. I really enjoy your messages. And he just gave him kudos and saying to the pastor how much this had meant to him. And the pastor blew him off. And I'm watching now uncomfortable seeing this and hurt and devastated because I knew what it meant to Bradford to go up to him to say this. One, Bradford's not easily impressed. And two, he had been through the ringer in so many ways. And here, he was giving kudos to a man that was helping him get out of that garbage, get out of that pit. And the man blew him off. And then, unexpectedly, Bradford passed away. We never went back to church. It was the last time, the last time we would be there. And I remember in anguish, screaming out to the Lord. I'm like, how could you do this? How can you allow it to happen? And why would you let me see that? Why would you let me be tormented? But the last time he goes to church, his feelings are hurt. I'm uncomfortable. I'm angry with the pastor. And the Lord put in my spirit right away. You're focusing on the wrong person. And it hit me. I wasn't to focus on the pastor that was a, a mere human. Who knows? He has a family. He had other things to do. Maybe he had a bad day. Because I'm sure if he knew the situation, he would have given Bradford that time. And see, my focus could have ate me alive if I was focusing on the wrong person and the wrong situation. God was showing me that Bradford was right with him again, that he had peace again, that he had hope again, that he knew he wasn't in the struggle alone, that God was with him. And I know that Bradford is with God. So I'm asking you right now, Christian or not Christian, atheist, agnostic, it doesn't matter. There still is a God that loves you and he's up there right now and he's saying what to focus on. So what are you focusing on? Are you going to be like me, focusing on two people that I thought controlled my destiny and my life? No. My life, my destiny, my purpose is in my hands. If you focus on the wrong person, the person that did you wrong, maybe even the unthinkable or someone in your family, that will eat you alive. But see, you have to allow that in. No. Take out the garbage. Take out the wrong focus. Focus on the things that you know you can control and are right. Because remember, your life is going in the direction of your most dominant thought and what you're thinking. I want to go on a path that's righteous. I want to go on a path that's good. I want to go on a path knowing that I control my life. No matter what someone does to me at that moment, I can bounce back. So bounce back. 
Focus on what you know you should to be the person you know you're called to. I'm Fairy Grace, and you are absolutely amazing.